Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Paloma. Today I'm basically showing you guys a video of what is on my iPhone. So yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. Uh, I have the iPhone 7 Plus and I recently just got it because my old phone was just, whew, I don't even wanna talk about it. It's just very glitchy and whatever. So I'm glad that I recently got this new phone. And so yeah, this is settings. Everybody has settings. You obviously know it if you have an iPhone and the camera. Also the funniest thing, um, my tripod wasn't working on my camera so I had to put flashcards there to hold it up. Oh, anyways, there's the photos app, this is the TV app and then I just have some random stuff on there. I like what I like to watch on airplanes. Here's my notes. I write everything down on notes. Um, yeah, I just write everything there. And then here is my voice memos and I record a lot of like new song ideas or stuff like that on there. I love voice memos and I use that a lot. The calculator, then there's mail of course. Um, and then after that I have FaceTime, the App Store, and after that I have the clock and I use the clock a lot. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm saying that <laughs> for everything. But I do use the clock a lot. I use it for um, setting so many alarms, and I just never got around to deleting any of them. But yeah, these are my long. This is my long list of alarms. And so after that, I have the reminders, which I don't really use. I have the calendar. It is Sunday, January 29th, if you were wondering. Uh, yeah, and so I sometimes look at the calendar, but I usually just open my phone to look at it. They have maps, the weather, and after that I have extras. Oh, if you're wondering what the weather is today, where I live, it's a little chilly here for today. But, um, and it's also raining out, which is kind of ugh. Anyways, for extras, I have pages, health, wallet, compass, news, find my iPhone, and just like a bunch of other stuff. There's home, which I don't really use um, at all. I, I don't really, it's not connected or anything like that. There's my Spotify, and this is my music thing. Oh, my camera's going out of focus. The iTunes store. Oh, and then here's acapella. I love acapella so much. Uh, you basically get to create compilations, I guess, of yourself singing and put it together. It sounds amazing, like other people do it. This is my school folder, and I have Squology, Squology, <laughs> Squology, I can't pronounce it. Anyways, then I have my Quizlet, which I like to study on, and I think it's a great way to do it. Usually do it on my computer, though. Here's First Class, which is basically an email server that my school uses. Um, and yeah, this not not all exciting. iBooks, you know, I don't really like reading on iBooks. I like reading on an actual book or reading an actual book than reading on my phone. Then I have the ones I use a lot: my phone app, uh, my, the internet, obviously. Well, I guess I was on Facebook before, <laughs> and then I have um, my text messages and my music. I have some playlists on my phone. I have some. Beyonce, Broadway, old 2000 songs, but I also have Apple. Um, I also have Apple Music, so I use that a lot more than actually buying stuff um, on my phone or I use Spotify. Here's the exciting page. I have YouTube, of course. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you should and be a part of whatever is going on here. And this is my channel. And then here is Snapchat. I love Snapchat so much. I think it's a great way to communicate with your friends. Uh, be friends with me. This is my snap code. If you take a picture of it or scan it, then you can be friends with me on Snapchat. Uh, here is I, my, some of my friends. And then here are everybody's stories. And I love reading like Cosmopolitan and Buzzfeed here or people I just, when I'm bored. Here's Instagram, I love Instagram, and here is my account. You guys should also go follow me, hashtag self promo. <laughs> and yeah, I love Instagram, and I also think that this is a great way to communicate with other people maybe you haven't seen in a while, or it's nice to ca kind of catch up on what they're doing, get to see their Instagram account. There's my Twitter. I don't really use Twitter too often, but I like to look at what other people have to say on there. And you guys can also follow me on Twitter if you like. 
Then here's BuzzFeed. I absolutely love the BuzzFeed app so much. And I love taking quizzes on there and just looking at the news. And I think that BuzzFeed is just a great app and I love it so much. Then next I have Pinterest. Obviously I like to look on here for recipes or DIYs or just fun stuff to do even though I kind of suck at DIYs. I mean it's okay though. It's okay. You guys can also follow me on there. Barely have any people um, but also that was a really old photo but I just like to look on there. This is Facebook and also you can friend request me on Facebook. This is my account. Then after Facebook, I have Musical.ly, which I also like to use. I used to use it a lot more than I do now. I don't use it as much anymore. You also can follow me on there if you'd like. <laughs> uh, and see, I haven't really posted anything in like a month, two months. And this was my most recent post. Yeah. Yeah, and it deleted all my privates for some reason because I, I, that annoys me every single time you get a new Musical.ly. This is Netflix, of course. And they I recently just found out this, but you can download. It's like available for download. Um, and you can download all of these movies so you can watch it without Wi-Fi internet, which I find so cool. Also TV shows, by the way. I haven't started doing that yet, but I am definitely soon. Starbucks app, of course. Holy grail. I don't even have to explain it. But then next, last but not least, I have my photography folder. This is just editing stuff and photography apps. I have Visco or VSCO, whatever you want to call it. Boomerang, and since it's a new phone, notifications obviously on every single app. There's my hysterical camera tripod thing that I put together. And here's the Canon app. Oh my god, so many notifications. Um, and yeah, this is just downloads. You can like do it wireless um, or using Bluetooth from your Canon camera to your phone. And this is the Snug app. I absolutely love this app if you don't know it. Not a lot of people do, but my friend Anna actually showed me it, so shout out to her. And you get to like kind of check out your feed. I don't really care about my feed too much, but it kind of just like help, like you get to see what you want to post next. Here's Foodie. It's actually one of my favorite apps on my phone, and I like to edit it. I actually use the filter TR1. I think it stands for tropical? Question mark. It's okay. And here's Enlight. I also like to use this one to edit my apps, or edit my apps, edit my photos. And here's iMovie, yada, yada, yada. Everybody has it. InstaView, which also it kind of just shows you who's like been on your Instagram recently. I find that kind of cool. Here's Airbrush, another thing I like to use to edit some of my photos. So yeah, that is basically it. Uh, that was on my iPhone. I kind of went through that fast, but I hope you guys could get go along and I hope you guys liked it. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe down below. Um, let me know what you guys want me to post. Yeah, so bye. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. Adios.